Yeah, that's true. It got got the tools to deal with it, and you're not every character does. So, with that in mind, uh, we'll see if the tools are enough for Shucky to deal with Pink Cage, or if uh, Pink Cage is able to you know, do the things that Game and Watch does and move on the top eight. This is losers top twelve. So, winner of this will go on to play either DNA or Atomisk. They're currently fighting it out on uh, Collision Smash stream. So, um, place your bets. But this is what we got here. Yeah. I say a lot of things about a lot of characters, but there's one, something about Game & Watch, going into that shitter mentality, as you mentioned, something about Game & Watch feels ignorant. Well, <laughs> like, oh, I just do this, and it works. The thing is, even if you're playing fundamental Game & Watch, like, you're still doing things that seem a little bit like, uh, maybe like a little degen, in a sense. Um... You know, I don't even know if that's the right terminology, but I do think that some of the stuff does come off like that. And there we go. Uh, Shucky getting off to an early lead. So, oh, I'm just realizing the band Game & Watch tag took me a minute. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, so here we go. Uh, the quick Embracing thing. the hate is one re one way to get around the the, stimu the, the stimulus, I guess. Uh, of the, uh, I know what you're trying to think of. It, yeah. It's the uh, stigma. Stigma, that's, that's the word, yeah. yeah. And I mean, you see that with like the Wi-Fi Sonics and the whole uh, just camp people out even when you're losing. I guess that's, you know, <laughs> it's one way to go about handling all the all the gyms in your DMs. Like, yeah, right. I mean, you know, the, like own hate, up to haters. it and say, yeah, my hate is broken. They're gonna hate, you know. So <laughs> you do those things, but um, Pink Cage is gonna have to do something though to kind of figure out. Uh, Shucky, because Shucky is just rolling right now. Still only at 81% on the first stock. Yeah, the, one of those like few character flaws with Game & Watch. Like He's really hard to punish, but when you can, it matters so much. Like, he is a really light character. Like, I think he's in the, bo the top 10 in the game, or bottom 10 in the game. I mean, weight. my man's is 2D. He really shouldn't have any weight, you know? You should be able to hit him. He's just like snapping, snapping half. But yeah, that's not how it works. Just... Like, like, so I, at least he's late. That makes sense. He's bottom got no pecs, bottom right? three he's got weight. No, uh, not, according no, not to no this. <laughs> yeah, he's got nothing, dude. He's weak. My man's weak, man. He's weak. Uh, Palatina <laughs> saying so too. Uh, I think Cage narrowly getting a kill finally, but. Okay, there we go. Bomb's gonna get him. And, alright, manageable. 45%, 65%. Uh, nope, okay. Yeah, 65%, still manageable. Uh, albeit uncomfortable. We'll see what Pink Cage could do with this, though. It does look like Shucky might have this all but one at the moment. Not really sweating. Yeah. Does have Pink at a uh, very killable percent. It's. It's a little bit problematic to make comebacks with Game & Watch because you're basically reliant on stuff like that. His right. combo game, pretty solid. Like, you can get a lot of damage, you can juggle pretty well. But when it comes to huge comebacks, like multi-stock comebacks, there's a little bit of RNG you have to rely on. And uh, it looks like the, the gamble was not in the favor of Pink Cage. Yeah, so... He, he eats that up air. He's definitely in that up air. Um, that's going to be Shucky going up one. Uh, looking kind of comfy, if, if I do say so. But who knows, man? I mean, Pink could have maybe just a better game up his sleeve or maybe something he's thinking. Maybe there, there's something in stage he saw. I mean, that first game, a little bit of case of just uh, kind of a little bit of a case of outplayed initially. Uh, I think he went down quick, sort of started to figure it out towards the later part of the game, and by then it was just too late. It, it was surprising to see like how comfortable uh, Shucky was at just catching Game & Watch landing because that's like the infamous Game & Watch ism where he'll run up, he'll hold shield, then he'll up be out of shield and land with down air. And it's like, this is all like safe. But Shucky says, no, this isn't safe. I can up air you for this and you'll die at 80. Yeah, that's what's happening, and it does look like uh, Pink might be experiencing some kind of lag or some kind of latency, so um, I'm definitely going to give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. 
Would not be surprised at all if, if that were the case, but we'll see. Hopefully that clears up in game two. Uh, you know, the Nintendo online services being as finicky as they are. No surprises there. Yeah, and he could, I guess, reset his, reset his network. Like, disconnect from the network and, like, close out of the game and reopen, maybe. Yeah, it looks like he's just hopping right yeah, into Yeah, it, it doesn't look like we're going to be doing that, but it does look like we are going to get a stage swap, so... We'll see if this is any better for Pink. Um, maybe, you know, there might be something here for him. But, we'll, you know, uh, already off to a slightly better start. Did get the first hit after all. Um, it's interesting to watch, like, it, it's interesting to watch any different player play characters differently. Like, one, power, one game watch should be different from another based off, like, play style and what people think is good and what people don't, and how they add quote-unquote flavor. In Pink Cage's case, it looks like Full Hop is his flavor, as opposed to, like, common Game & Watch play, which is, is a lot of short hop nair, a lot of short hop back air, and using the low landing live on those moves to condition some sort of uh, retaliation to what you punish with up the out shield. Right. Uh, it looks like Pink Cage is much more focused on, I want to try and, like, catch you above me with things like falling up air, uh, full hop forward air, and use those as a kind of a walling out strategy as opposed to a juggle strategy. So, I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense or is even correct, but... <laughs> Yeah, so I was a little bit distracted. I think we're going to get Jazzy uh, commentating a little bit with us. But in the meanwhile, at least this is going a little bit better for game one. Um, yeah, and it does seem to be a huge problem with, with uh, Pink knowing how to approach. Because Palu has a lot of answers to basically kill you. And just like that, Explosive Flame is going to explode Game & Watch. Uh, now a lead once again for Shucky. So we'll see if he's able to just pull away like he did last game, or if Pink can keep it close. Uh, it does look like Pink has figured something out a little bit in this game that he didn't have figured out in the last, so... Um, yeah, getting a little bit spicy over there. Chef is so good at like, shopping. Like, Chef is, like, why is that move so good? Hello. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, hello, hello Jazzy. Hello. How did you? Okay. Period. Um... What's going on? Not too much. Uh, say, you're, you're in. Uh, so if you got any opinions about Palutena or, or, or Game & Watch, let them rip. This is this is a very hard matchup. The one time that I played Pink Cage um, offline, this th this is a very, like, you have to know what you're doing type of matchup. It's going to be very hard getting in against Game & Watch just because of all of his areas. I think beats out um, Palutena, so... You have to kind of approach this matchup very carefully, as you do with most gimmicks in this game. <laughs> yeah, that's certainly fair. But it seems to me like Shucky is playing around this at a lot at a slow. It's like an arm's length kind of pace where he's watching and seeing how K. And this is more of a he's playing against Pink Cage. He's not just playing against Game and Watch. But he's seeing that Cage is completely committed to this jump happy style of neutral and not even worrying about challenging him in midair. He's completely content to catch landings with forward air, to throw out explosive flames at multiple distances, and to pressure with auto radical. And once he conditions him to like keep jumping to avoid all of this pressure, that's when he swoops in for up airs, and that's when he swoops in for kills. As he should. Um, I like that taunt that he had there, showing that he was, he's, he's pretty, uh, he's pretty confident, you know, definitely taking, um, a two-stock lead and going to get killed by that down smash there. I guess this is a, this is a pretty, you know, a friendly game, taunting everywhere. Nice catch on that, on, with that back air. I'm not sure if these are friendly taunts today. Uh, they these might are, not These be. are definitely friendly taunts, Chris. We don't talk about um, people who get annoyed in this game because you know what? It's Wi-Fi, so we're just gonna say that these 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 is happy thoughts. This is happy time. You know, your emotions are invalid. It's Wi-Fi. 
<laughs> no, no, not that they're we don't we don't they're I not mean, invalid. They're just replaced with happy thoughts. I mean, I'm having a nice good time. I just don't think I don't think. Oh no, I don't think oh, Pink Cage is having a good time. Yeah, and I don't think. The dance sound pull is going to make him feel much better. So that's going to be a 2 0 go in the Shucky. Uh, pretty dominant there. Um, well, well played. Definitely shout out to Pink for making it to, uh, I guess, yeah, what's it? Ending off at ninth place. Uh, yeah. Okay. It is sorry for. It's sorry for Cage. Like, I know he gets ninth a lot, but, you know, ninth place is still respectable. And, I mean, coming from, you know, 2 2 Master over here, so. 